Hey y'all, welcome to Farm Girl Friday. I'm out here with Glisten today. Ain't she the bestest girl? Ain't she the bestest girl? She's my first cow. Can you tell? Mm -mm. <laughs> She's my bestest girl. Mwah. She's my bestest girl. Welcome to Farm Girl Friday. So we're out here today going to be moving, what are we moving? Rotations and alleyways from one side of my farm to the other. So they've had their spring grass now. So now they're going on their almost summer grazing. So this was last grazed in March. So they're back now to eat it down in May. So hey y'all, we're out here today going to move the cows rotations from one side of the farm to the other. So they're locked up in a small little rotation right here, which they've only been in for a day, so they got plenty to eat. While we move my alleyway over to the other side of the farm, because I need to be able to get to the pond from this side instead of the other side. You can see way down there is my post we're gonna have to move today. So Petey came up with a really cool rig to work with today, because I don't have a side by side or a four wheeler as of yet, which is on the bucket list to do within the next year. Ain't he cool? So this is our rig to get our farming done today. Cause we have to put up a semi-permanent alleyway for them to be able to get to the pond through that little stretch right there. <laughs> it's a good idea. So I got my brother and my nephew helping me today. I've been under the weather a little this week with some sinus infection stuff. So they're doing my heavy lifting for me. So I decided to put T-post and regular wire right here because I had been using one of my <clears throat> rotations because my cows, they pretty much just stay in it just because it's one of their regular rotations for this little alleyway. But you can see the little path they've already made. So they don't need anything wide right here. But we're just trying to get it straight because the wattle hole kind of just dips in over there where Dakota's walking to. So using old T-posts, you can tell they're just already used. They're also short, so we can't really use them for exterior fencing later on. And this is also temporary. We can easily pull these out of the ground and use them somewhere else later if we need them. 
As you can tell, I also used older posts here on the pond dam to keep them out of the pond. There's no reason to throw away a rusty post. They're still good for many, 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 many years. So our fancy little fence, so they can get their water hole. Such a pretty day. Now we got to take up the alleyway to move it to the other side of the farm. So I didn't get a video of us putting up the alleyway because we were all busy putting up the alleyway. So they're gonna go through the corral here. So hopefully they can either munch down or at least knock down some of these weeds and then we'll come in and bush hog it. But this is going to be one rotation. I probably should chop it up, but I'm not going to. <laughs> so I'm going to turn them into here. Going to go ahead and let them keep eating up there at the road. And then they're going to have this. I'm going on a trip. So they're going to be in here while I'm on my trip. And then when I get back, I might go ahead and chop it up into some rotations just so they eat it faster. But we'll see. So I appreciate my boys. Wave, boys. <laughs> wow. So anyway, that's the plan for this week. So minor mistake I made. I did not realize how high this wire is right here. So I had a cow walk under it this morning. Just came to check on it. Come on, cow! Come on! Come on, cow! Come on! Come on, cows! Come on! Come on, cows! Come on, cows! You gotta get back in here. See if I can get around the corner so you can just sneak it around her. Come on, cows! Here and just hold her.